Hey guys, I wanted to show you where I was at. I've been radio silent for a few days because I've been putting this together and that together and it's been a whole lot of work. But I did get my shaft keyed and everything, got my end couplers on to Harmony, started welding up my cage, get the hinges on it and everything, and I'm working on getting it functional. So as you can see, the, um, the cage would open. The floor isn't completely level here, <laughs> but um, I also am missing, missing my, uh, my top triangle. That's over there. But when I'd open Harmony up here, or open up the cage, the idea is I'd be able to um, Boy, I can't get a good view. There we go. There's so much stuff in the way. <laughs> I need to re-weld this one for sure. That one didn't weld up properly, so that's all right. We'll get it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. My wife liked the uh, phrase I said tonight, welding's easy, unwelding's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this yes, one. Uh, we learned that tonight. This one needs to be rewelded. There we go. So this cage is not for the overall harmony design. It's just for data collection, right? Correct. It's just the prototype cage. So okay. when it's open and the top triangles in there, then I'll have a clear vertical point in which harmony will be mounted. The generator will be down below in the bottom. It's over there on the table. I've already worked out how the coupling to the generator is going to go. This outside would be probably tied down with, you know, three heavy guy wires going out down to the ground somewhere um, just to stabilize Harmony and keep it from tipping or anything like that. And then the cage would provide the stability and bearing points on which Harmony would rotate. So inside of this cage, you'd have a clear opening that Harmony can rotate and do everything furling, unfurling, unhindered. But then when I'm ready to go, if you watch the video I posted a little while ago, um, I would furl Harmony up totally closed, and then I would close the cage. And once the cage is closed, then... Uh, Obviously outside I would have more room. <laughs> and once I re-weld this one stupid, that one right there is the bad one. Um, but basically once it's closed up, Harmony would be pretty much protected in here. And then I'll be able to put a, um, this probably won't fit, but yeah, a one inch, steel rod actually goes through this tubing. So I would slide a one inch tube through, I'll stand over here. I would slide a one inch tube through this one, through there, and then put a wheel on this side, a wheel on that side, and I'd be able to take the entire setup, tilt it back, you know, maybe I'll put handles on it here or something, tilt it back, and wheel it wherever I want to take it, inside of the shop, take it outside of the shop, and set it up. So the wheels would let me just kind of tilt and pull Harmony out to wherever I'm going or push it out, set it up, get my wind testing, you know, maybe, well, we'll see. We'll see what places I can go because we don't get very good wind here, but um, there's a couple places around that have really good wind, so. At any rate, I'm coming along. It's just a lot of work. Could use a second hand, set of hands. So if anyone in the area wants to come and help put it together, I always keep saying you guys are welcome to 
contact me and I've already had two different people helping me, three different really, um, if you count my buddy from many, many years. But um, yeah, it's always good to tinker with people and get a second set of hands to help. Anyway, wanted to give an update here right before Christmas. This is where we're at. Slow and steady progress and more to come. So stay tuned. Here's the top with the, the hinges, by the way. So they're already installed. I just need to get that up in there and then weld it. So at any rate, just a lot of work. So that's why it's taken a while and things, they're coming together one step at a time. Okay, Merry Christmas guys, bye.